What's going on guys, so here we go, week 14, 49 sections. This game is probably going to go one way and one way only, and that's because of two players in particular on the Texans team. DeAndre Hopkins, because that guy is an absolute beast, and Jadavian Clowney, because that guy is also an absolute beast. So yeah, those two players alone can wreck this game for us. We all know how DeAndre Hopkins is, he's probably one of the best receivers in the game. His, his sideline catching ability, his foot control is just second to none. I think, I think his sideline catching ability is probably the best in, uh, out of all receivers in the game. Better than Antonio Brown and Julio Jones, if I'm honest with you. That's just my opinion. But, yeah, whoever is lined up against him, whether it's a Keller Weatherspoon or Dante Johnson or whoever, uh, they're going to have their hands full. The thing is with Hopkins, the ball doesn't need to be thrown to him perfectly. If it's just within his vicinity, the guy's making the gonna probably gonna make the catch. He is just remarkable. Now obviously the Javian Clown, he is also an absolute weapon and our offensive line is leaky as hell. I mean, Jesus Christ, it is certainly bad. Although the past few games they kind of shown some sort of improvement, which we're definitely gonna need if we're gonna keep that pass rush away from Jimmy Garoppolo. For us, it's simple. We've got to score touchdowns. It is, I mean, yet again against the Bears, we didn't score anything. We've got to be more efficient in the red zone. I think we've got well, I think we've got one of the worst red zone offenses in the league in terms of scoring points. All we're doing is settling for field goals every single goddamn drive or whenever we get near near their goal line anyway. So again, touchdowns against, against the Texans is absolutely crucial. It is an absolute must that we're going to stand a chance of winning this game. We can't just let Robbie Gold kick multiple field goals and expect to win every single time so i would like us to win this game again i know i said this last time I, you know no good comes from winning late but i still would like us to win with jimmy Garoppolo there i do think we stand a chance but like i said we've got to score touchdowns the texans now if the texans had the sean watson i would probably probably pick the texans to win this but they don't they have savage so things can go wrong very easily for us defensively we've just got to generate pressure force savage to make some terrible some bad decisions some terrible throws and uh the thing for us that's how we stand a good chance of winning obviously he's gonna look to deandre hopkins a hell of a lot we need to force him to go elsewhere more often than he, than he would like so do i think we're gonna win uh it's a tough one and like i said if the sean watson was there i would say no but because the sean watson isn't there i will say yes i will say yeah i reckon we might it's not going to be an easy game at all. Obviously, we are in Houston, so if we lose, I'm not going to be too disappointed because it is going to be a hard game. But I would like us to win, and so I might as well predict us to win. I will go for us to win. Yeah. Score wise, well, like I said, if we don't score touchdowns, we're pretty much screwed. So we're going to need to score points. Uh, and like I said, obviously, I'm going to go for us to win. I will say score of 26 to 20. To the Niners. So there you have it, guys. There's my thoughts and predictions for the game. Do you agree or disagree? Be sure to leave a comment below. What do you think is going to happen? Who do you think is going to have an impact? Again, be sure to leave a comment below. But for me, guys, as always, please like, share, subscribe. I'll do my reaction via Red Zone, although I won't be recording any of the action because my video got done for copyright. Um, even though it's still up, it's still got flagged for uh, copyright, so I won't be recording Red Zone action. It'll, it'll just be what I'm doing now, basically. But yeah, guys, please like, share, subscribe. Have a good weekend. If anyone's going to the game, as always, rep that red and gold, baby, and uh, yeah, make as much noise as possible. But for me, guys, as always, take care. And remember, guys, stay faithful.